I don't want to wait for God to answer my prayers. That's why I'm a witch. It's a way for me to affect change in my life, but isn't necessarily like a belief in a higher power that I am devoted to, that I pray to. I have spirit contact. I, there are spirits that I work with. I invited all of my helping spirits and ancestors and deities and said, whoever wants to be here during this interview to make sure I'm saying the right things, let me know and I'll put you in the room. And we've got a couple here who are represented in various symbolic ways throughout the room. All of the uh, religious witchcraft traditions have... Oh God. Hey girl, what's up? I told you guys about the jawbone and here she is jumping out at me. Okay, we'll put you somewhere more stable. How's that? She didn't like that. No. No, she didn't. Well, because she's the primary spirit that I work with and she's like, no, it is religious because I'm here. It's like a familial relationship. It really depends. Sometimes it's a working relationship with a deity that I'll have. I'll, I'll contact them and say, I need X, Y, and Z done. Here's what you'll get. How do you feel about it? And we'll work out some kind of a deal. Um, or it's in, in the case of, you know, I've got tattoos for certain deities that I work with. That's like a lifelong relationship. And that's as meaningful to me as members of my family. Witchcraft is the doing of magic. So yeah, it's the practical application of it. When I talk about magic and witchcraft, what I'm talking about is like, I will use like candles and oils and things, or I will anoint my phone to get a Tinder date. I will like make like a, a love attraction oil and then I'll like anoint my phone with it and I'll swipe and we'll see who comes through. Yeah, right now he's just processing. I would do more listening than uh, worrying about all this stuff. Does that make sense? The biggest critique we get of witchcraft is that it's 99% placebo effect. I have too many practical results to believe that and to give that any credit. And I just invite anyone who has those beliefs uh, or thinks that this is all bullshit to just like sit in and see if you don't feel something powerful. It couldn't be evil in as much as like praying for love couldn't be evil and praying for money couldn't be evil. Uh, it's just a means to an end and a very practical one. Devil worshiping? Um, occurs occasionally, um, but again, there's about as many deities to pick from as there are like stars in the sky. So some people will choose to worship like the Christian devil and work with that. Um, Satanic temple, a lot of them are good friends of mine, um, but you know, there's just as many people who do other things. Some people have their book of shadows. Um, some people have them in a binder. Some people have them in an old dusty book. Um, I see no merit to keeping those kinds of things because I like to be really off the cuff. So I make them up as I go along and I try not to remember them after they're done. You have to take this piece down to the crossroads, close your eyes, throw it in, make a wish, walk away without looking back. Not hard. So that's just a little bit of room clearing, getting the static energy out of here. When I think of what witchcraft means to me, it does stem from this like autonomous female, uh, like kind of like a, a warrior who just lives by her own means, who takes care of herself by any means necessary and doesn't ask anyone for permission.